thank you again for joining us to uh, for today's session, Get Back to Business, Increase Productivity with Easy to Use Automation Tools. My name is Nicole Schmeider. I'm the Senior Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare, and I have a few polls for you throughout today's session, and I'll moderate the Q&A at the end. The main presenter today will be Billy Martin, Regional Sales Director here at DocuWare. He has over 10 years of experience equipping organizations uh, with any of any size uh, with best fit solutions to really streamline and automate those key processes that run your business day in and day out. So thanks, Billy. Thank you for joining us today. On the screen now, I'm showing the agenda for today. So Billy will cover, you know, why use DocuWare, why it's the easiest office automation solution on the market today. And then he'll go into a live demo so you can see DocuWare in action. He's going to present it through the um, eyes of Peter. So we'll go through, you know, a day in the life, how his day was before DocuWare and now how it is with it. And then at the end, we'll open it up for Q&A. Before I pass it off to Billy, I do have a poll question for you all. So let me just launch that. So if you take a minute, um, look at your screen, there's going to be some options that you can select from. So here's the question. You know, what is your experience uh, implementing new tools or technology in your company? You don't have any experience because you don't use any tools maybe at the moment. Uh, mediocre. It's hard to le learn and get people to use these tools. It's great. You know, people, it's easy to use whatever one you have now. And you're really seeing the benefits like save time and increase productivity. Or if you have any other responses, feel free to type it in the question box now. We can go over that. So just take a moment, I'm just gonna wait till I get a good uh, percentage of votes in and then I will share it so you can see what others on the line, you know, how, how are they working uh, with different tools? So I see the votes coming in now. All right, looks like I got a good amount right now. So I'm actually gonna close the poll and share the results, close, share. So you can see that a majority majority of the people on the line are no experience or mediocre. It's hard to learn and get people like motivated to use it. So it's great that you're on the line now so you can see DocuWare in action, get a feel for it, and continue this conversation and see how DocuWare can help you. It looks like uh, you know, some people already have some great tools they're using. So, you know, we hope DocuWare can also fit into your um, you know, current applications. They, we do have a lot of integration features. So again, you, you might be you know, more down the road with your transformation, digital transformation journey. So it's great that you're here as well. So with that now, Billy, I'm gonna pass it off to you. Okay, thanks, Nicole. And is my screen sharing okay? Yep, you're good. Excellent. So I kind of have a quick follow up question to that. And there's not going to be a poll associated with it, just something to think about as we go through the rest of the presentation. Um, do you have any hesitation implementing new technology and, and what are some of the reasons behind that? Um, when I think about my workstation, you know, in my life before document management tools, you know, I had paper documents, paper content I had to work with. I had email, email was a crutch and a tool that I used to store and organize um, important information for myself. I stored documents to my desktop, I stored documents to a shared file structure that my company used. If I needed accounting documents, those were in the accounting department. If I needed HR documents, those were in the HR department. And so what this led to is lots of information silos. So if I want a complete picture of one of my clients or a project that I'm working on, you know, I have to look to like three, four, five different page, three, four, five different places to get that, to get that whole story. And so being able to implement a solution that kind of breaks down those silos, that kind of brings together and aggregates all of that content into one platform can be very powerful for us. Um, the, the rub is, the problem is, these solutions, as we saw from the poll at the beginning, they can be hard to implement, they can be hard to use, they can be hard to learn, 
And if we don't have a successful rollouts, if your end users aren't engaged and aren't interested in using the, the tools and products that we give to them, then it's technology that, that's, that's not very useful. And that's where DocuWare comes in. DocuWare has created a very intuitive, easy to use platform where we really thought about all of the different ways that people interact with content today in other applications that they have on their computer, maybe pieces of paper on their desk, and try to incorporate those into a single, easy to use platform that not only adds kind of static file sharing and file aggregation capabilities that allows people to view content across the organization, we've really focused on, and when we think about digital transformation, it's important to not just change how we're storing content, but, but how we're using that content and the tools that we're using, are they adding value? Are they making our work more productive because of the tools? So DocuWare focuses really heavily on improving the productivity and managing the process that surrounds our day-to-day -day work and surrounds the content we have to manage and consume. So as you'll see in the demo, we have a, a tool that makes it easy to ingest and capture documents. Uh, it's also really easy to find and retrieve documents, whether they were stored by myself or, or by someone else in my organization. We also have the ability to build powerful workflows that kind of automate rote processes, help manage and audit how we're getting to point A to Z with all of the different things that we're doing in our day to day. And as we go through the demo, as Nicole said, we're gonna kind of focus on Peter. We're gonna kind of spend a day in the life of Peter Sanders. He's a project manager at Peter's Engineering Group. Peter's Engineering Group's the sample company that we created. And, and in my world, they make and sell roller coasters to amusement parks all around the world uh, because that kind of seems like a fun job to me. So, as we're going through the demo today, we're going to see how Peter's able to use DocuWare to help enhance his process, help the way he manages his day-to-day -day work, freeing up him to focus on his core value to the organization, and that's spending time with his clients and managing projects instead of managing the process behind the projects. But as we go through the demo, I want you to think of the tools that we're seeing and the functions that DocuWare can do and start, start to think about your own world and your own companies, your own departments, your own day-to-day -day work and see how can these tools help unlock some of these same productivity hacks in your world. And with that, one quick pause before I launch into the demo. Nicole, have any questions come into the chat? Looks like we're good, Billy. Okay. So yeah, meet Peter. Today, Peter uses DocuWare to manage uh, projects and client relationships that he has. Before DocuWare though, Peter had to do a lot of kind of ad hoc process and rote task management. So those information silos we talked about earlier, Peter had to deal with that. He had to look for content in a lot of different places. Because content and document existed spread throughout their organization, he spent a lot of time doing data entry. Maybe that's transposing from one repository to another, or just kind of keeping centralized logs or spreadsheets on all of the activities, all of the tasks, all of the things he had outstanding and, and was able to do. He spent a lot of time managing communication. You know, if he needed some internal approvals or some internal processes, to complete before a project could get kicked off with one of his clients. You know, he had to manually manage that communication as well as communication externally with all of his clients around the world. And oftentimes when a customer would have a question for Peter, he didn't have at his fingertips the answers to answer them right away. So he would have to take a note, he would have to find out the answer and then get back to it a little bit later down the road. So what we're gonna see in the demo is how Peter was able to use DocuWare to manage kind of the business process and the tasks, the back office administration that was consuming so much of his time and allowed him to really focus on the task at hand, which is servicing his clients 
and managing the projects he has in flight. So before I go on, Nicole, you should be seeing my DocuWare interface. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Um, so before we jump into Peter's work, um, I wanna take just a couple minutes and walk through what you're seeing here on the screen in front of you. This is our DocuWare user interface. It's going to be pretty consistent to this across your organization. And the first thing I like to point out is DocuWare is completely browser based. So there's no need for users to download and install any thick clients or software to their machines to be able to use DocuWare and access the content inside of it. Uh, the second thing I like to point out is the demo today I'm running off of my VM. Um, using the VM allows me to kind of tap into Peter's workstation and really watch how he manages things. I think it demos very well. But regardless of how you choose to deploy DocuWare inside of your organizations, whether it's a SaaS cloud deployment, whether it's an on-premise deployment, some hybrid of the two, the user experience that you're seeing today is going to be the same user experience that, that you would experience in your DocuWare environment. The screen itself, you'll see is split in half here. The right hand side is our document viewer. This is where Peter can view any documents that he has stored inside of the system. The document viewer can take up as much or as little real estate as you would like it to in your window. It can even be opened into a whole separate window. So if you're like me and you have two screens, you can view documents on one screen and dedicate the other screen entirely to your workstation. Inside of the document viewer, we give Peter a, a handy toolbar that allows him to really interact with this document and unlock some, some productivity potential with it. So in his toolbar, inside of the viewer, for example, he has the ability to edit documents. He has the ability to print or send documents. He can also adjust how he views documents. He can zoom in, he can zoom out, he can even highlight a, a portion of the page with some fine print and, and zoom in close. We also have handy annotation tools. Annotations allow Peter to mark up, write on, add notes or content to anything that's stored inside of DocuWare. So for example, Peter can highlight important information. He can draw attention to a specific part of the page if he wants. He can even black out information that he doesn't want people to that he doesn't want to have visible, or leave a note, a little sticky or post-it note, right on top of the document. Now, all of these annotations are simply applied to a layer that rests on top of the document itself. So you'll see Peter has the ability to toggle the annotations on or off. If he were to share this document, you'll see he has the ability to share the document in its original format, which in this case is a Word document, or as a PDF with or without the annotations, depending on what was appropriate for his audience or what was important for his audience to see. The left-hand side of the screen is our document works, or is our workstation. The workstation is where users are going to perform most of the day-to-day -day tasks that they do inside of DocuWare. Um, we're sitting right now in our document tray. Trays are kind of um, landing spots for documents or content that are coming into the system that maybe Peter has to tag or, or add some index values so they can be stored appropriately and in a manner that's easy for him to find later. From our workstation, Peter can also search for documents. If we were to run a blanket search, we, we could see all of the documents that are stored inside of the system today. Lists, lists are kind of dashboards or, or saved searches. Um, these are oftentimes very user specific. So for Peter in his lists, he keeps quick references on where all of his projects are. So if he has work or if he's waiting for contact back on specific projects, they would show up in his lists. If there's a population or a type of document that he references or needs quick access to, he can save that as a list as well. Tasks are associated with workflows. Um, if Peter's a part of a, a predefined workflow process, as work comes in that's assigned to him, that will show up in his tasks. 
folders gives Peter just a different way to find documents inside of the system. If the search functionality allows you to find documents based on information that you know about them, the folders allows Peter, if he knows where a document lives in a specific filing cabinet in a specific folder, to drill down and find it. And lastly, he has forms. Forms are web forms um, that Peter has access to. Web forms are really easy ways for Peter, other people inside of Peter's engineering, or even people external to the company to add content and documents into the system. So to start, let's talk about different ways we can get content into the system. And Peter, like many of us, spends most of his time in his email client. He spends almost all of his day inside of Outlook. So DocuWare has allowed Peter to be able to interact with the DocuWare software, be able to send content to DocuWare without ever leaving his Outlook. So we'll notice he has a new email that came in. It's from Thomas Rain. This is one of his customers at the Flying Tom Company. And it looks like they're interested in, in installing a new roller coaster in their theme park. So before DocuWare, Peter would have to manage this process completely ad hoc and manually. He would have to route, you know, get documents around the people inside of his organization to review and approve. He would email the client externally or call the client. There was no central way for him to organize this process. With DocuWare, Peter's able to manage that business process using the DocuWare tools. The first step for that is to get this document, this email inside of his document plat of DocuWare platform. You'll notice up here, we have a couple DocuWare integrations with our Outlook integration capabilities. Peter can store directly into DocuWare. It's going to pull up a dialog box for us. And it's gonna ask Peter to add a little bit of information about this email that he's storing so he can get use out of it once it's in DocuWare and it's easy to find and retrieve later. Um, all of his emails, he tags his letters. This was received from a customer. I don't have a document num number handy, but you'll notice there's no asterisk next to document number. So that's not required for him to store this. So he can skip that for now. He does want to add a project number. He knows that all Flying Tom um, projects currently are assigned to this project number. So he's going to add that to the document. And the rest of this contact information, you'll notice Peter doesn't have to manually type in or add by hand. DocuWare was able to receive that and have that delivered to him by, by Outlook itself. At the bottom, you'll see Peter has a few different ways that he can store this. He can store just the email, he can store the email, just the attachment, or he can store them both. Peter's going to choose to store them both, but he wants the attachment to be placed first inside of DocuWare. So we'll store that document. We'll see it's already been archived in the system for Peter. Now, before we leave Outlook, a couple things I'll point out to you. You'll notice blue flags have been added to the email that Peter just stored. And this is a really easy way for him to identify what content inside of his Outlook has already been stored or shared with DocuWare. Peter also has the ability to communicate with DocuWare without leaving and, and find content without leaving Outlook itself. You'll notice next to the store button, we have quick search capabilities with our Outlook integration as well. So we'll see that Peter's quick search is configured to show documents from the same center. So when I execute this quick search, it's going to show me all the documents that Peter has access to inside of DocuWare that are from Thomas Rain. And it's gonna bring them up in a queue inside of his um, inside of his Outlook, and he's able to retrieve and view documents while he's still inside of his email client. Now let's go ahead and see what this looks like inside of DocuWare. If we were to click back over to our DocuWare client, I'm gonna run a search, a simple search on just documents stored today, and we'll see that there's one. It's the email that we just imported. It has all of that information that Peter captured listed out for us. Um, in the document viewer, you'll see we have the attachment 
that's displayed first. And behind the attachment, we'll find a copy of the email as well. Now, this attachment is a DXF file. You'll notice I didn't open that from Outlook. A DXF file is like a CAD drawing. Um, I don't have a viewer that can view DXF files on my PC, so I wouldn't be able to see it in my Outlook. But inside of DocuWare, that doesn't matter. DXF file is one of the over 200 file extensions that our DocuWare viewers supports in the native format. So Peter is able to see and review this type of file inside of his system. So he has the specs from the client. He has kind of the instructions on what they want. Uh, the next step for Peter is to create a proposal or a quote to be able to send out to the customer. Now, Peter does all of his proposals through a Word template. So you'll see he's already created his Word template here for the current project that they're working on for the roller coaster that Thomas Rain requested. And again, before DocuWare, Peter would have to email this quote, this proposal internally, get some sign off inside before he could send it out to the client. With DocuWare, Peter's able to use the tools inside of the software to help manage that process. Now he has a couple different ways he can get this document inside of DocuWare. The first one, the first option, he can just print to a DocuWare printer. This is kind of like printing the PDF. If he prints to a DocuWare printer, it's going to save a copy of this document inside of DocuWare as a PDF file. The other way Peter can import this into DocuWare is he can save the document. Now he could save it to his desktop and import it into DocuWare, but you'll notice he also has the ability inside of his Windows file structure here to send this document, to save this document directly into DocuWare without that middle step. So he's gonna save this in his proposals. Similar to what we saw with Outlook, we're going to see a dialog box pop up. It's gonna show us the email that we're or the document that we're trying to store. And it's gonna ask us for a lot of the same information that we captured with the email. In this case, we'll label the document type as a proposal and it's for a customer. And so to fill out the rest of this, if Peter had to do all of this by hand, like he used to do before DocuWare, that's very time consuming and tedious and can lead to user um, and data entry errors. So what he's able to do with DocuWare is to use our point and click indexing to dynamically capture all of this information. So if he were to highlight the company field um, that he's looking for, anywhere on the document where he sees the company name, he can simply point and click over the name and it's gonna dynamically capture the information that we're looking for. So he has Thomas as his contact here. He has Thomas's email address. The subject will say is a quote for supply and construction of roller coaster. We'll want to tag our project number on there. I have a document date. And with that, we'll go ahead and store this document. We'll see that's complete. If I go back to my DocuWare client and I refresh my search for documents stored today, you'll see that now I have the email that I imported. I also have the proposal in a PDF format that I printed to DocuWare, and I have the proposal in a Word document that I saved to DocuWare. At this point, Peter needs to get some help from a couple of his colleagues to validate the information on this proposal before he can send it to his client. The way he's going to do that, inside of his document viewer, you'll notice he's got a little stamp pad in the top right-hand corner. With the stamp, he's going to assign this document with some notes to whoever in his organization that it's appropriate to send it to. Uh, Peter's gonna ask for follow-up today so we can get back to the client right away. He can give read permission. We'll give read permission to Fred Winter. We'll give edit permission to Peggy Jenkins. If Peggy Jenkins has the ability to actually edit the document and make changes if she thought changes were appropriate. 
Peter has a couple different ways he can get this assignment complete. He can have everyone that he's assigned it to have to kind of sign off and put their stamp on it to be complete, or he can have any of them do it. He's gonna pick anyone as soon as Peggy or Fred validates this document, this will be considered complete. And he's gonna notify them, Peggy and Fred can get an email notification that they have a document for review inside of documents. So we'll set our stamp on the document. We'll see in Peter's lists that he now has a document that's in one of his um, dashboards or one of his queues. Um, so he has a quick reference to the documents that are assigned by him, that he can keep track of where things are at, where different projects are at in the process. I have Peggy logged in down here in Firefox. So we'll see what this looks like from Peggy's end. On Peggy's end, she has a document that's been assigned to her that's due today. If she were to click on that, she's going to have similar viewing annotation search capabilities as Peter. She's going to see that Peter has shared a document proposal with her. He wants her to review it before she sends it to the customer. She'll be able to review it. She can make any notes. She can make any changes if she needs to. In this case, everything looks great. She's just going to, she's just going to complete the assignment. She'll set her stamp on the document. We'll notice that that leaves her list. She doesn't have any outstanding assignments due to her. If we were to check back over with Peter, we'll see that all of the assignments he has outstanding are also complete. So again, those dashboards that lets him know where all of the different things he's working on, what the status of, it, of each of them are. So now this is ready to be sent to the customer. It has Peter's stamp, it has Peggy's stamp. Peter's able to send this directly from DocuWare just by right-clicking over the thumbnail. He's going to send, like we could in the viewer, he can send it in its original format. He can send it with or without annotations. He wants to send this without annotations to his external client. It's gonna dynamically integrate and link that to his Outlook where he's able to address and, and send off the email to, to the Flying Tom company. So now that's kind of the first half of the process. We're gonna fast forward a couple weeks. Um, in the mail, Peter received a, a validation from Flying Tom that they agreed with the specifications, they agreed to the pricing, they'd like, like to proceed with the roller coaster, and that packet included a, an order or a purchase order for the for the solution. So we're gonna go back to our trays. Peter's gonna scan in the purchase order. He wants to get that inside of DocuWare. So all of the content for this project is in one place. It also makes it easy for him to share with others inside of his organization. Now I realize that in the real world, the client probably would just email them back the purchase order. But since I already showed you how we can bring content in from email, I thought I would take this opportunity to show you how easy it is to scan documentation directly into a docuwar tray. And as that comes in, one quick difference between this purchase orders tray and his the original tray we saw when we were kind of doing the introduction is the purchase order tray has this green stripe or color coding added to the thumbnail. What the green stripe indicates is that this tray is configured with what DocuWare calls intelligent indexing. Intelligent indexing is DocuWare's kind of machine learning AI tool that allows it to learn and recognize documents that it sees over and over again. And it's able to dynamically include all of the indexing values um, over automatically. So in this case, Peter doesn't even have to point and click index because DocuWare seen multiple purchase orders from this client. It recognized what information was important and it was able to automatically assign that to the correct indexing values. And if you click through, you'll see where on the screen it's picking up that information from. Now, when Peter gets a new purchase order, he stores it in DocuWare. He also has to share it with the finance department. The 
finance departments responsible for billing back the client for the work that was done and the materials that were delivered. Now, Peter can store this inside of DocuWare and kind of add the stamp for Peggy like we saw in the last example. He also has the ability to assign it to Peggy directly from the storage dialog as well. So he's going to send it to Peggy. He's going to ask it to be complete by the end of the month. He's going to hit store. We'll check in with Peggy one last time. We'll look at her list. She has a new required action within 30 days. It's a new purchase order from a client. Peggy knows that she needs to go ahead and send them an invoice. Peter's asked her to do it by the end of the month. So she'll go to her financial system. She's able to look up the customer. She's able to key in all the data from the purchase order. If Peggy had questions, if she needed any additional information before she was comfortable invoicing this client, she doesn't even have to go back into DocuWare and look for all of this content and supporting documentation. She's able to do that directly from her financial software using DocuWare's highlight search tool. So by highlighting over the key information and executing a search, she is able to look for any documents that are stored in DocuWare that are associated with that project. She's able to, to click through the documents, get any supporting information that she needs in order to properly invoice them. She's done all that. She has the invoice ready. It's been sent to the client. And now Peggy wants to store a copy of this inside of DocuWare as well. Now, in the, before when we wanted to have the invoice stored in multiple locations or we didn't have a central repository, that would require Peggy to kind of manually data enter the same information into multiple locations. With DocuWare, Peggy is able to print directly to DocuWare, similar to Peter did with his Word document. She's able to dynamically store this invoice inside of, inside of DocuWare. She doesn't have to do any data entry or any additional indexing to it. And if Peter were to look back at all of the documents that have been stored today, you'll see he has of all the documents that are stored today. He's got the email that he brought in. He's got the proposal that he created, the purchase order that was delivered, and now he has the invoice. It's all handy and searchable directly inside of DocuWare. So when Thomas Rain calls Peter and asks him about a status of the invoice, He's able to answer him in real time because he has all that information at his fingertips inside of DocuWare. And with that, that is the end of my demo. You know, what I tried to show was how Peter is able to use this new tool to not only house and store documents that are easy for him to find and retrieve, but also manage the administration and the business process that surrounds all of this documentation. Um, that was consuming a lot of Peter's time and energy, freeing him up to focus on his core job function, which is servicing the clients and making sure that all of the projects that he has in flight go off without a hitch. And as I said at the beginning, you know, like we were going to walk through kind of Peter's day and Peter's process, which was kind of a sales or project management of getting an order all the way through invoicing. Um, hopefully throughout the demonstration, though, you were able to see how the tools can be used, not just to manage projects or manage a sales process, but could also translate to your world, your companies and your departments. And again, no matter how you choose to deploy DocuWare, whether it's in the cloud or on premise, the, the user interface, the user experience that you saw today will remain kind of static and across your organization. And with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Nicole. Thank you, Billy. Are you able to see my screen okay? I can. Great. So yes, thanks again for that great introductory demo. 
Now that you've all seen it, you got a feel for how DocuWare looks and works. I do have another poll question for you all. So if you just take a moment to bring up your screen, which Docker benefits are you most excited for now? Um, you can select more than one option. So you're looking forward to saving time. You know, there's a lot of repetitive manual tasks that you do that you can see can be automated. Incorporating digital workflows. So instead of, you know, having a bunch of post-it notes and emailing, you know, endlessly, now you can have the system do that for you automatically anywhere, anytime document access. So as you saw, Peter was at his desk, but now that he has more time and with DocuWare's mobility function, while he's at his job sites, he can pull up, um, you know, DocuWare on his tablet or phone and just quickly search something or maybe give an approval to keep work moving forward. And then of course, you know, secure document storage. You wanna know that, that your documents are in a secure platform that can be accessed by authorized users. So while, you know, there is that easy anywhere anytime document access you can still set up custom uh, user permissions who can actually see what and control that information as well so it looks like um, the votes are coming in just wait see a few more and then I'll share the results all right I'm gonna share it now So it looks like the majority, like the single option that was clicked the most was automated digital workflows. So there is a lot of opportunity to identify those repetitive tasks, like I mentioned that, you know, they're essential, they have to be done. They, they are the, you know, backbone of your business. So Docker is here to help you automate that and give you back more time and freedom to, you know, work on more growth uh, focused projects and such. So that's great. All right, so we're about to open up for Q&A, but I'd like to mention in the email I'm sending you later, I will have a link to our user reviews on sites like G2 Crowd, Captera, so you can, you can read about real Docker user experiences. And we're also proud of our different security um, certifications that we have. As I mentioned before, security is um, high priority as well. So definitely check out the links in the email later. No matter how big or small, 15,000 customers around the world use Docu DocuWare. They rely on DocuWare to securely house their documents and automate those business critical processes. So, you know, you might think, oh, maybe this isn't the right fit for me at the moment, but we have lots of different case studies on um, different size organizations um, where Docker fits in and really um, helps them take their productivity to the next level. In the handout section of your GoToWebinar panel, there's a case study um, that's great. I'll link to it in the email as well, but it's a construction company and they're able to grow their company, focus on that without having to take on additional staff because of their investment in DocuWare. So again, taking the time to invest in a solution now to solve your operational challenges will provide you know, a lot of benefits in the long run. So as we end today, what's your next move? You know, we hope you don't just close out and close out of today and just keep doing what you're doing. If you really are struggling with paper processes and you know, just kind of thinking long-term, how, how are things gonna play out if you're still doing the same things today? Uh, we don't want you to like waste time and money and lag behind your competition. So let's continue the conversation together. Reach out to your Docker partner so that they can get you started, give you more personalized demo and show you the different features and modules because today was just, you know, to give you a feel for it, give you an introductory demo. And we definitely want to help you and your organization streamline, automate and secure wherever you need it. So if you only remember one thing from today, DocuWare's easy to use tools help you simplify processes to get more work done. It's that straightforward and clear. So ways to get in touch, contact your authorized DocuWare partner. Whoever sent you uh, the webinar invitation, definitely reply back to that or look at the bottom for contact information and give them a call to get started. You can request a personalized demo at docuware.com slash demo or email us anytime at contact.us at docuware.com.